can't actually see what anyone's faces are doing yeah. because everyone's got masks yeah. on. Yeah. So it just looks like everyone's like... Okay. Imagine they're just like... <laughs> yeah. This is it's a like, train wreck. This is a train <laughs> What have we done? <laughs> Hey queens, I'm Monroe Bergdorf. And I'm Tace, you sexy little devils. Mm, and you're watching the show in which we chat to LGBTQ plus celebrities about the pop culture moments that made them who they are today. Oh yes, baby, we're talking queer. We're talking epiphanies. We're talking queer epiphany. Ugh, I love a mash together word. Well, today we're truly blessed to be joined by someone who's quite frankly a multi-talented powerhouse. I mean, are we, are we talking about me? Is it me? Mm, well, even better, it's the incredible Travis Alabanza. Yeah. I am loving what you've done with the place. Oh, thank you. It's camp, isn't it? This old dump. Um... <laughs> <laughs> we thought we'd spruce it up for you a little bit. Thank boo -boo. you. How have you been? I'm good. I'm good. All the better for seeing you both. Now, you've been here for all of 30 seconds and we haven't even offered you a drink yet. I mean, it's absolutely outrageous. Well, fear not because we've got your favourite cocktail because we'd like to take care of our guests like that. Oh, God. Thank God for that. So, cheers and welcome to our queer little palace. <laughs> So, serious faces, everyone. Let's get right down to it. We are dying to know all about your personal queer epiphany, baby. And I just want to say that if it was that time that I nailed a lip sync to memory on national television, you don't need to feel awkward because I'm here. You can just come right out and say it, baby. But anyway, what was Travis Alabanza's queer epiphany? Well, seeing as I feel too awkward to say your lip sync, I'm going to take <laughs> us a bit back further uh, to when I think I saw like my first example of like a queen on television, mm. um, Miss J, America's Next Top Model. Iconic. Uh, the OG seasons, mm. when she would come in with all the ruffles and all the flowers the and all the looks, that was definitely my queer epiphany. What did it mean for you to see Jay like on that show back in the day, non-conforming, black queer icon? Mm. What did that mean to you? You know, I think it was the fact that it was the one show that me and my mum would watch together. So we like would come home and she would come home from work and she would put on America's Next Top Model. And at first she made the wrong assumption that me and my brother wouldn't want to watch it. But my brother would slink upstairs and I'd pretend that I was doing work whilst like kind of like looking at the TV. And then one day she was just like, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Just put down your work. And I was like, yes, I love it, I love it. That memory makes it so happy for me, you know? And how old are you at this point? Like 11, 12, too old for, like too young for some of the drama that was happening on that show. Uh -huh. Cause like, you know. I think were, we were all too young. Yeah. yeah. Some, yeah. some yeah. of those challenges. <laughs> Literally. Miss like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tyra did them dirty. <laughs> did them dirty, but here's why I love Miss J is she would give you the face to let her, like let you all know that she was yeah. not on board. Yeah. She would just give you that. I learned the Is side eye really from Miss J. Yes. Okay. Fully, fully. I love an that. Icon. So why do you think you loved the show so much at the time? Well, I mean, obviously for the drama, obviously oh. for like, it was camp, it was mm. camp. Obviously I didn't have the words for it at the time, but I think just seeing someone exist and not all these explanations around them, mm -hmm. not this big like hoo-ha, like just like, it's Miss J, yeah. you know? And she's just here to do her job. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't toning herself down to do the job. Like all her extraness was, the reason she had the job, mm. you know, and it was being celebrated and you couldn't take her out of the show and mm. it feel good. So what did it mean to see yourself reflected in Miss J? I was obsessed, you know, and I think it was like a good litmus test to see like how other people around me might treat me like when I wanted to like wear stuff, you know, like I was in the get up from an early age, you know, pulling Dude. the looks from uh -huh. like uh -huh. uh -huh. the around the yeah. block in the get up and just being able to see that my mum was like so excited about Miss J. There was a moment where like one of the contestants from like some, you know, th those contestants when they got brought over to California, it's their first time there, da 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 da. Mm. And they were like, Mr. J. Oh. My mum went, it's Miss J. And I was like, okay, mum, yeah. come through. So I felt like Miss J was doing the prep work mm. so that when I came out, it was, all, it was all easy. So I think that it meant a lot to just see it not a big deal, mm. you know? Not that it doesn't have to be a big deal, sometimes it is. But a lot of the time for me, I was just busy doing it. Yeah. You know, and Miss yeah. J was just busy doing it. It wasn't this whole, it. yeah, it wasn't this whole language thing. There wasn't all these words around it. This big like script for her, like she was just there. What was that accent? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Your personal, personal. Your personal queer epiphany, darling. <laughs> 
we still see a lot of ignorance towards gender non-conforming people today. Where do you think that comes from? And jealousy, because we look incredible, obviously, Gee. you know. Um, I think it comes from the fact that a lot of these people, you know, wanted to try it all on when they were younger and then something happened, they grew up and they were told they couldn't. Mm -hmm. And they see us doing the thing and all of that repression comes out on us as we carry on moving, mm -hmm. you know? Like I genuinely think we represent freedom. Yeah. You know, yeah. when I see us make our own choices, that kind of freedom is both scary and contagious mm. and people can choose to either like love us or be afraid of us, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a very brave thing for us all to do. So to walk down the street and dress how we want to, not give a crap. And, and we make the streets look better. <laughs> That was also the thing. Just like the show without Miss J was like not be anything. The streets also, imagine Soho without us. Boring. Espadrilles. <laughs> <laughs> Mango espadrilles. Why do you think it's so important that we do have people, not only on television, but in the streets as you're talking about, you know, being a beacon for the youth. One, not all of us like want to read articles and read the books. You know, when I was young, I was not trying to like spend all the time reading. Mm -hmm. A lot of the things we're doing is visual. You mm. know, a lot of things is what we're seeing. And I think that like, you can hear all the words or the conversations, but sometimes just seeing someone in action. Living. Yeah, just living. Without gives explanation. You, exactly, like gives you that possibility. And I don't think it's one singular moment, but all these moments like add up. Miss J then leads on to something else, to lead on to something else. And we kind of build a lineage of just showing like that you can be the version of yourself you want to be, you know? Absolutely. I feel like we're definitely in the process of actually looking back throughout history and celebrating these icons that have paved the way for us to, you know, be here on MTV. Mm -hmm. So Travis, what brings you joy? Cycle one to four. <laughs> <laughs> Prime time, America's next summer. Do you ever that woman that girl walks and she's like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just, I'm not ready for it. I, I can't be bothered. I'm going to go. <laughs> she just walks off. And then Miss J goes, <laughs> yeah, it's the baby. <laughs> Or the iconic Tyra Meltdown. <laughs> oh, we were just rooting for you! How dare we're you! We're rooting for you! <laughs> Never in my life I yelled of a girl like this. But I think that for me, like, seeing the art that our community create and, like, the fact that, like, our art and creativity, like, from our fashion, our language, our songs, our music, whatever you can trace it back to, it powers so much of culture, whether credited or uncredited. Yeah. And that brings me so much joy, the fact that, like, I can see so much of us from different spaces branch out. It kind of makes you feel like you're actually part of a lucky club. Like rather than when you're younger. Yeah. Yes, I'm like, wow, we get to be part of this place that's like literally creating culture. What would you say to someone who is kind of struggling navigating that path within their, you know, gender fluidity? I would say, watch Miss J's uh, lessons on heels mm -hmm. and walking mm -hmm. ASAP. With the book? Yeah, with the book. <laughs> <laughs> not the book, not the book. Um, you know, I would say that actually, like, it's just as valid to do it inside as it is outside. Mm -hmm. And it's just as valid to, like, find your own private ways to do it. I remember when I, like, first started wearing dresses and it was, like, really intense. And so I would just use my webcam and, like, video myself, in, like, in my room, walking up and down, like, pretending kind of that I was outside. And mm -hmm. for that amount of time, that was fine. Mm -hmm. And that also, like, none of it's linear. Like, you can come out and in as many times, Yeah, you know? Like, you can move to somewhere else and try something new mm -hmm. and change it up. It's amazing that we're at this point where we're talking about things so much more, but I also feel like that's brought a lot of young people this pressure to know exactly 100%. what they are straight away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, God, I've came out like a hundred million times about a hundred million things. Like and I've gone back in, time. you know? Go your own pace. Exactly. Your time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And come out when you're safe. Yes. Do what you feel a closeness to. Don't do anything for anybody else apart from you. <laughs> bum, bum. Can you ask me that again? Because I blanked out. <laughs> I was like, Whoa. So, Travis, baby, what's in your crystal ball? What's going on in the future? What do you want to see when it comes to celebrating the expression of gender fluidity? I think I just want to see more people doing it. Mm. Yeah. I think that, like, so many people have it deep down inside, and I just want to see, like, more permission for everyone to, like, try out things, mm -hmm. you know? Mm, absolutely. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh God. Because of that time already, <laughs> my goodness, I'm gonna have a couple of sips. So, a bit of a quick fire section oh, now. Let's do it. I want quick answers. Okay, hold on. Get ready, baby. Oh, leave up, baby, leave up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's say you're throwing a big, massive, all-out party in honor of Miss J. Off the top of your head, 
Where are you doing it? A palace. Nice. Who's coming? Everyone that's us and queer and everyone's invited, yeah. Okay. Sounds like a party. And what's you playing? Tyra Banks' single oh, that she your did, Shake Your Body, Stop. on repeat the whole uh. night. Slowed down, sped up, the video no. in the background, yeah. and we all have to be part of the video too. We love that. Do you oh. remember the pot lead them? Yeah! And she like spelled pot model what backwards, backwards. Oh and then like was pushing that. Oh, no. oh Tyra. Jeez Louise. Well, let me tell you now, baby, this has been nothing short of absolutely sensational. I feel fed, mm -hmm. watered, <laughs> replenished, <laughs> rejuvenated. I mean, Travis, thank you so much for joining us today and telling us all about your queer epiphany, baby. Thanks for having me. Now, Tate and I have got plenty more where that came from. Mm -hmm. So whatever you do, don't even think about missing our next episode. Don't do it. Thanks for watching, you sexy little devils, and we'll see you next time. Bye. If you're looking for support with your own gender exploration and expression, Gendered Intelligence, Midline Trans Plus and the Beaumont Society are excellent resources. You can also find loads of other resources for help and support about an array of topics and issues via the MTV UK website, all on your screens now. Oh, and if you love this queer epiphany, then there's plenty more where that came from, baby. So don't forget to like and subscribe to MTV UK's YouTube channel right now.